Hey guys, what's up? Nico here. In this video, I made some 3D printed orthotics. All right, so about a month ago, I was playing basketball and I twisted my ankle. Um, I then developed plantar fasciitis because my arch collapsed. And so um, I've had 3D printed, uh, not sorry, not 3D printed, so I've had foot inserts before, and that's what cured of plantar fasciitis. So I made myself what I used to have. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna teach you guys how I did it in Blender and the slicing settings and all that stuff. So um, this is what cured my plantar fasciitis and I'm hoping that it's gonna do the same thing now. So let's go straight to Blender and we'll go ahead and design that. But before we start this video, I wanna let you guys know I am not a doctor. The following is not medical advice. I am not telling you guys what to do. All I'm telling you is my experience and how I designed a foot insert for myself, for my condition. This is not medical advice, so take it how you want it. All right, so um, to design this, um, we're gonna start off with a plane. Where is it? And um, all I'm basically doing is I'm going to make the shape of a foot from the middle of my arch to my heel. And that's all I really need. I'm not going to put anything to balls of my feet because I don't need to. And so, um, wait, let's move this down here. Move this here. Move this here. And I'm going to add this. Um, this will basically be the arch. All right. And this is where the heel is going to be. Um, that's where the heel is going to be. Put this up here. Contour that better. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to solidify this. So go to our solidify modifier. And we're going to make this nice and thick. Because we want to give the support. We don't want it to have um, a thin... Um, uh, we just want it to be thin because it's going to need to support some some weight, right? So we're going to increase it a little bit more. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take... Nah, I'm actually pretty happy with that shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply that. We're going to apply now a subdivision surface modifier. And we're going to crank it up to three. Um, this arch actually I'm not really happy with still. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this point here. It's easier to see without it. These two. And we're going to raise that up. Okay. Maybe a little lower. You got to do both points because if you do just this one, um, it's not going to... I, I mean, I guess you can, but to get... To keep the overall shape, you're going to want to move both um, vertices. So let's add that sub D modifier again. See, that looks better. We're going to crank it up to three. All right. So we're going to add a um, edge loop there. We're going to take that and this actually... Um, no, we're going to do this point and this point and lower that, lower that as well. Maybe a little lower. The only reason why I know this is because I've worn these before and I lost it. <laughs> 
and I know what I'm looking for when it comes to these things. So what we want is to just have that arch support because I'm pretty sure the arches of my feet collapsed. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these faces. We're going to inset it. Um, and we're going to make some like a, uh, a um, like a bowl <laughs> for your for your heel. All right. So we're going to take this and just kind of make it a little lower and then maybe take these um, edges right here and raise them up so your heel has something to sit in. Let's add that sub demodifier again. Um, it looks a little better. Well, we'll do that later. All right, now this is a pretty low arch. So let's increase that arch now. And do it that way. So that looks a lot better. We're going to add another one here because um, this is too steep towards the front. So I'm going to take these two and then just lower it that way. And there we go. There is our um, foot insert. Now what we're going to do is maybe take this and slide it some more. And maybe shape it that way. All right. So now that we have this, I'm actually designing this after um, I've tested one out already. So let's go to the slicer. And I'm going to show you guys what, one that I've already done right here. So I printed this at 25% infill because I wanted it to be uh, stronger, but not so strong where it doesn't have any give because you want it to spring back just a little bit um, and, and not hurt yourself. So we're going to add supports for this. Um, I printed this in 0.3 millimeter layer height and the temperatures really don't matter. Um, as far as the orientation goes, you want to print it flat like this. Okay. Reason being, you don't want it to print it vertically because the stress point is um, up and down. Now, if you print it vertically, you're going to have the layer lines going this way. And if you add force going down, it puts it on a, a higher stress level, which might snap it. And you don't want that. So you want to print it horizontally like this. And that should give you um, plenty strength. All right. So let's print this now. Throw this on a printer and we're going to test it out and we're going to play basketball with it. Alright guys, so we're on a basketball court now. We're going to test these inserts that we, that we just oh printed. God. Let's see. So what I got here are my J's. Let's see if these fit. See, they fit perfectly in the shoe. I'm gonna put the other one in there for the left one. And now we're gonna put them on and we're gonna play with them. All right, so far they fit great. Um, maybe the arch needs to be a little higher but we'll see it's it's definitely supporting the arch of my, my my foot though so now we're going to play with it see how they feel um and see how uh, how it really works how it holds up Game one, it was good, it felt great. My feet don't hurt. Let's try again, game two. We're gonna try to run full this time. So 
that was game two. Still no pain. Feet feel good. A lot of support in the arch. It hasn't broken. It's giving that nice support that I wanted to give me. Um, again, maybe the only gripe I have is for the arch to be a little taller, but that's easy to be fixed in the design. So I'm gonna go finish up playing and I'll catch you guys for the rest of this video. And that's it, so those are the tests. Um, I have had a new design since. Like I said earlier, it needed a, a higher arch. So this is the one that I was wearing during the test and this is the one that I redesigned with a higher arch about a half inch higher, okay? Now, because I have super flat feet, the half inch makes a big difference. My feet have gotten used to these ones already, the higher ones, um, which is great because it's putting my foot back to where it is. Um, and after several uses, um, matter of fact, I was lifting weights with this earlier and I was squatting about 300 and I was um, deadlifting about three something also, like 350, and it didn't give. Uh, there's no um, there's no stress on it. There's, there's no cracks or nothing. It looks good, and it, it feels good. It feels great, and so it, it works. Um, it's been a couple weeks, actually, since the test of the video, and I feel great. There's no... Um, it, it's holding pretty well. It, it's very, very sturdy. It's made with PLA, and so... It works, man. If you don't want to spend the money on foot inserts, they can be really expensive, especially the custom ones. You can create these yourself. And that's it, you guys. I really hope I was able to teach you guys something in this video. Um, again, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I'm just telling you what I was able to do with my 3D printer and my design skills to make my own foot inserts to get rid of my plantar fasciitis. You guys can do the same. Again, not a doctor. This isn't medical advice. So, um, I hope I was able to help you guys out. If you guys did like this video and I was able to help you out, please give me a like and a subscribe down in the um, button below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.